All right, here I am uh, licking my normal, I'm building an airplane wounds and thinking about the laser cut debacle. Hopefully this will be a quick update, but um, we learned so far, it's September 3rd. We've learned out of Oshkosh uh, two weeks ago that uh, the main reason why they said stop building if you have laser cut parts is because the manufacturer or the subcontractor for vans change the manufacturing process uh, at some point in time. They started out, uh, it was programmed to cut what they call pretzel cut holes. I'll put a slide in here. Um, and then they changed from the pretzel cut, which is on the left side of this slide, to a one where they start in the middle, go down to the bottom, go around and then end at the bottom again. And when you end twice at the bottom like that, the laser burns so hot that it's gonna create a kind of cracking type uh, uh, process that happens when you dimple and then rivet a hole. So anyways, this is a two year, pro two and a half years that they were sending out laser cut parts. Um, my wing kit was sent out two days after they started the laser cut process of course, right? So I have, I'm very confident that my wings are um, cut in that pretzel type process. Um, I, and that's, that's a good process, right? So in, when Van says replace the spars on the flaps and the ailerons, some people are probably going to run those flaps and ailerons if you got that early delivery. That's just their opinion. My opinion is I'm not going to put my life on that. So I'm going to replace the flaps. I'm going to replace the ailerons. Van says that the baffle at the back of the tank here, the gas tank, needs to be replaced. I'm going to build new tanks. It sucks. It is what it is. I'll build new tanks. Um, anyways, um, so where I'm at, my tail kit uh, was delivered before the laser cut process. I feel for those that had laser cut tail kits because it, it's every spar as far as I saw, but I just took a quick glance because I knew mine wasn't. But there's a lot to replace on those tail kits. Um, feel for those people. Uh, I got caught up in it with the wing kit, but luckily it's not going to be too painful. Um, I really don't want to rebuild all of those items, but I will, whatever. Uh, I just got my fuselage kit delivered four months ago. So that is without a doubt that new process where they start in the middle and go down to the bottom and end at the bottom. So where I'm currently at, this is a bulkhead. Um, I had parts on this bulkhead. We'll go over chapter 26. I had all of these seat ribs attached to the bulkhead, ready to go. So I have spent quite some time uh, essentially drilling all of these off of my bulkhead. They are now trash. I've got trash sitting over here in the corner behind Betty White. That's trash. All of it's primered, all of it's deburred, all of it was ready to go, and I had to throw it away. That sucks. But um, at least they said stop building in a part where I could feasibly stop in decent amount of time and not have it attached to the bottom skin like that and whatnot. Um, Van says that they will replace all of the laser cut parts and then if you need non-laser cut parts, they'll be at a deep discount. Um, yeah, that's, we'll see how much of a deep discount it is. Uh, and then I'm guessing um, I've got to pay shipping to get all this stuff to my place. That'll be fun. Um, one interesting note, and I'm going to put this slide up now, the laser cut parts, uh, when they were testing them, for the most part, performed better than the stamped parts. So it's kind of mixed feelings. Like, 
I know so long as Van says these wing ribs here are good to go, which they're still under testing, but so long as they say, yeah, those are good to go, I've got a slightly stronger wing than the stamped parts. So mixed feelings there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Van says that their uh, website to get new parts is gonna come online in September. Uh, hopefully I get those new parts October or November, who knows. Till then, I'm just doing little oddball jobs to try and keep some of the process going. I'm gonna start working on that bottom skin because there's a few things I can do there um, before it gets attached to the bulkhead, which the bulkhead needs the seat ribs on it. Um, but yeah, anyways, trying to soldier on and then wait for all the parts to come in. Finish kit arrives mid 2024, so I really wanna be done with this fuselage and seven, eight months. We'll see. Cheers.